Carl Jung once said, The privilege of a lifetime is to become who you truly are. But what happens when who you truly are makes you feel like an alien? When people call you too intense, overthinking, too serious? Today, neuroscience will prove. What others call weird are signs your brain works differently. And that's your superpower. Research from King's College London shows that people with patterns of atypical neural connectivity are often misunderstood as odd, but they actually possess cognitive advantages that conventional thinking cannot achieve. Stanford neuroscientist Dr. Robert Sapolsky discovered that 15-20% of the population has brain structures that process information in non-standard ways. And this is the source of breakthrough thinking. Seven signs your brain works differently. Starting with what you're probably doing right now. Sign one. You overthink everything, including right now. Right now, you're analyzing every sentence I say. You might pause this video to reflect. After watching, you'll replay certain parts. A five-minute conversation? You replay it in your head for a week. Others say, just let it go. But you can't, and honestly, you don't want to. Harvard research on rumination and intelligence found People with high IQ show 23% more activity in the default mode network, the brain's background processor. Your brain doesn't stop thinking because it's literally wired to find deeper meaning, spot inconsistencies, and optimize understanding. People call it overthinking. But really? It's deep processing. You catch details others miss. You see consequences they don't predict. Chess grandmasters, strategists, philosophers, they all overthink. Let's call it what it is. Superior analysis. Sign two, you can't do small talk. You go deep or go home. How's the weather? Feels like torture. You want to know. What actually drives you? What do you fear? What would you do if money wasn't an issue? Surface-level conversation makes you physically uncomfortable. MIT research on social cognitive complexity shows heightened medial prefrontal cortex activity in certain brains, the region for abstract thinking and meaning-making. Small talk doesn't engage this machinery. Deep conversation does. The superpower. You build real relationships, not networks. You understand motivations others miss. Therapists, negotiators, strategists, they need this depth perception. While others collect contacts, you build genuine connections. Sign three, you need alone time to recharge or you'll completely shut down. After social events, you need two to three days to recover. Not because you dislike people, but because you need silence to process everything you've absorbed. Friday night? You choose a book over a party, and you don't feel guilty. Harvard Research on Cognitive Load Theory Certain brains process social information with 40% more intensity than average. Your brain literally works harder in social situations. Tracking micro-expressions, tone shifts, subtext, Multiple conversations simultaneously. Here's the superpower. Solitude is your laboratory. Einstein, Newton, Jung all fiercely protected their alone time. In silence, you synthesize information, generate insights, produce your best work. Extroverts network. You think. Both are valuable. But yours is rarer. Sign four, you feel emotions intensely. Music, movies, conversations hit different. A movie can emotionally wreck you for days. A song lyric makes you cry on your commute. A conversation about the meaning of life? Others say you're too sensitive. But honestly, you wouldn't trade this depth for their numbness. University of California Research on Sensory Processing Sensitivity 20% of the population has heightened activation in the insula and mirror neuron system, brain regions, for empathy 
and emotional depth. This is the foundation of emotional intelligence. You predict behaviors. You connect deeply. Artists, leaders, therapists, they all have this. Feeling deeply isn't weakness. It's advanced emotional hardware. Sign 5. You question everything. Why should I believe this? What's the source? Is this actually true or just well presented? Authority doesn't impress you. Evidence does. You're the person who asks, but why? Until everyone gets annoyed. Princeton Research on Cognitive Flexibility Certain brains have reduced activity in the default mode network's auto-accept function. Your brain literally resists automatic thinking, demanding logical verification. This is first principles thinking, Elon Musk's weapon. While others accept that's how it's always been done, you break down assumptions and rebuild from the ground up. This makes you difficult in meetings and invaluable in innovation. Sign 6. You see patterns everywhere, even when others only see chaos. You recognize connections between seemingly unrelated things. In meetings, you spot the pattern behind six months of data in five minutes. You predict outcomes that surprise others, not because you're psychic, but because you see the algorithm. Cambridge study on pattern recognition neural networks. Certain brains have enhanced connectivity between the posterior parietal cortex and prefrontal regions. The dot connecting machinery. This is systems thinking at the neurological level. Breakthroughs happen here. Steve Jobs connected calligraphy with computer fonts. Darwin saw patterns across species. You're not overthinking. You're seeing the matrix others can't access. Pattern recognition is prediction. Prediction is power. Sign 7. You're watching this video while others are scrolling TikTok. And here's the proof. You just spent five minutes absorbing psychological analysis instead of watching 50 entertainment clips. Your friends scroll through dance videos and memes. They consume. You learn. MIT research on information-seeking behavior shows certain brains have heightened activity in the nucleus accumbens when encountering complex, meaningful information, not just entertainment. Your dopamine system rewards depth, not distraction. The fact that you're still here, at minute five, watching neuroscience content that proves everything we just discussed. You're not like everyone else. You never were. And that's not something to fix. That's something to leverage. If you recognized yourself in five out of seven signs, you're in the 15-20% whose brains work differently. Young was right. The privilege of a lifetime is to become who you truly are. Stop apologizing for your intensity. Stop dimming your depth. Your brain works differently. That's not your burden to fix. That's your competitive advantage. The world doesn't need another person who thinks like everyone else. It needs you, exactly as your brain is wired.